Is it time to buy or sell Alibaba stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Alibaba. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, May 25, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 18, 2023, our system has ranked Alibaba as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 4.05. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 8.15%. This translates to an average loss of minus 1.36% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the lower of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $77.72 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential minus 4.13% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 5.43% and 22.49%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 7.04% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 31.67% and 38.78%. This translates to a price range of $53.83 to $109.33 after a year. Our latest daily update for Alibaba includes the headline, Alibaba stock price down 2.99% on Thursday. The Alibaba stock price fell by minus 2.99% on the last day, Thursday, May 25, 2023, from $81.21 to $78.78. .78. It has now fallen three days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3.32% from a day low at $78.12 to a day high of $80.71. The price has fallen in six of the last 10 days and is down by minus 10.37% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 6 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 21 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.64 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $125.84, and the lowest price was $58.01. Currently, the price is 37.4%, or $47.06, below the 52-week high, and 75.33%, or $240.54, below the all-time high on October 27, 2020, when the price reached $319.32. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, January 11, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 141. On Wednesday, January 11, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 141. On Wednesday, January 11, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 141. On Tuesday, January 10, 2023, Citigroup set a price target of 160. On Tuesday, January 10, 2023, Citigroup set a price target of 160. Analysts have given Alibaba stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Alibaba. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Alibaba stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. 
On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $84.20 and $87.91. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, March 30, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 23.80%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 40 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 7 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 27 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 24 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 33 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 26 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Alibaba There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $2.59 between high and low, or 3.32%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.48%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Alibaba, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This extremely high P-E ratio suggests that the stock could be overvalued. However, it's not uncommon for tech companies or those with huge market potential to have such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 02, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $2.02. .02. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Alibaba. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Alibaba is at $82.92. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. There's no significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially drop sharply under certain conditions. Proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Alibaba stock a good buy? Alibaba holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, May 26, we expect Alibaba to open up $0.423 and start trading at $79.20. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.